Hi, Greg from Curry Country Living. It's been 25 years since I've had skis on my uh, feet, and we're down here at Holiday Mountain, January 4th, 2023. And I just got passed by one of my grandsons, who uh, is eight, and his brother, who's 10, really enjoying themselves. In this video, we're gonna talk to Abe, manager of the Holiday Mountain, and a couple other people to get their perspective on what's going on. Have a look and enjoy. I'm talking with Logan. Logan, you're a ski instructor down at Holiday Mountain here, and you can just tell me what, this is your third year? That's right, yeah. So how'd you get into ski instructor? I went on a school trip one year, and I just loved it. Really? Yeah. Um, and you've just been teaching my uh, two grandsons, uh, 10 and 8, and uh, we, we did well. We didn't hit anything too bad. Oh, well, they're doing real tonight. good. Yeah. They're just getting to their parallel turns now, which that's a pretty big step going from the snow plow to parallel. Yep. Very um, good. And the lessons, you guys, uh, you hear all, all the time for lessons, or is it hit and miss, or how do people... Yep, like... it's, uh, I'm usually in lessons from, well, we open at 9 and usually close at 5 on weekdays. Right. Usually lessons are from about 10 to 3. Okay. Yeah. And you get lots of kids? Oh yeah, it's been real busy. Actually, yesterday was a record day. They had more people than they've had ever, I think. Great on. It was very good. Well, I'd like to thank you very much, and uh, we'll keep on hitting the slopes. Yeah, right on. I had a lot of fun with you guys. Take him up on the chair. Me out again. Just about. Perfect. Make that easy. 
push up off the stone with the other hand. Keep that arm in there. Hey, that works too. <laughs> that was lucky you are <laughs> So I'm here with Abe, and Abe, you're the manager of Holiday Mountain, and uh, we were just talking briefly before we uh, uh, before we turned the camera on. Did you know what you were getting yourself into here? Uh, not exactly. Uh, I knew what uh, we were getting into as far as uh, managing and running a hill. Uh, I have management uh, experience that way, but we didn't really know as far as all the infrastructure and how everything was going to be uh, left for us. And so uh, there's been a few challenges, a few hurdles along the way. Um, but we have a great team and uh, we're hard workers and we're not giving up like uh, as you can see behind us there the snow guns are back up we're committed to making more snow we want to get the the runs in better shape yep. so we're not done yet we're putting in long hours uh, I got guys coming in for the night shift to manage the guns so we're putting in the work well and we were just talking because I think um, I think you said that this whole um, transaction started sometime in November yeah and I myself personally said that there's no way there's no way they'll be able to do it because just the amount of logistics behind it and then plus the resort was down for a year which didn't probably help anything yeah we've been blessed with the weather the past eight days here over the Christmas break that we've had some great crowds um, we focused uh, on making as much snow as we could in that yeah. time uh, we took the guns down during the break so that the kids could have free reign of all the runs. And at the beginning, I remember the first couple of days, uh, the kids, I was working a lift and I would ask them like, how do you guys like the run so far? And they were like, we love it. There's powder out there and they don't normally get powder in this area. And so they were loving it. And now they've worked through the powder and they've packed it down, which is, which is fine, which is great. And so now we're going to head back there and start making snow. So it's it's kind of been a blessing that way and so the weather has been fantastic the last number of days yeah. great great crowds great community support and so now that the kids are going back into school it's going to start to slow down a little bit before the school groups show up so we're going to work hard to get more snow onto the hill so yeah. we can have more groomed runs and uh, see if we can get that terrain park open and have uh, uh, you know, a few obstacles and jumps and stuff there for the uh, the more adventurous type. Yes, well, thank goodness my 8-year-old uh, and 10-year-old grandson had never skied a day in their life before. Uh, Logan gave him uh, a ski lesson. I give him as much information as I can. Now I can't find them. I don't know where the heck they're out there skiing. So that, that's the beauty of Holiday Mountain. And uh, I think a lot of families can relate to that where the kids can come out here and, and uh, you know, like once they get the basics down, and they can ski on their own and you can touch base it's a small enough area that you can find people and, and and our focus is on making sure that all of our staff are well trained on safety that yeah. from the lifties that we're making sure that people are getting on and off safely um, we're making sure they know who we are that we're visible we're out there yep. and that like you said if if you don't have eyes on your kid all the time which is impossible to do that you can feel safe knowing that we have staff out there that are watching that are aware of the dangers out there and we're we're looking out for the kids yeah. making sure everyone's staying safe perfect mm -hmm. what's been what's been the biggest challenge so far um i'd say uh because it was such a quick turnaround from the acquisition that the challenge was training all of the staff yeah. during opening week when it's basically the busiest week of the year right yeah. so you yeah. have uh, parents on holidays from Christmas break you have companies shut down between Christmas and New Year and kids off school so you have all these people that have time off that are looking to do something and they're coming out here so it was a really busy week and it just so happened to be this is our training week as well because we're just <laughs> starting out and so I have to give a huge props to all of our staff yeah. that we could not ask for a better group of people like we have fantastic team players and they stepped up, we put in some long hours, and there's been some challenges with some of our, our POS and our internet and different things, but we managed to get through it, stick, stuck together as a team, and by all accounts, you know, people were able to still have a good time, and I, I thought the lines were flowing smoothly, the chairlists have been running fantastic, um, the conditions have been great, and so we had some hurdles, but we overcame them, and things are just running tickety-boo. So this is the history that you're responsible for now, Abe, and you're doing a heck of a job from what oh, I can thank see so you. far. So um, I'd just like to wish you all the luck and thank uh, you. best going forward. And, thank you. And thanks for talking to me. Yep, thank you. Great. Pleasure. You so right now, 
I, you can, I'm running into people. You're my neighbors. Yeah. Don't see you very often. Come no. down to Holiday Bond and I run into you. Yep. Charlie's down here skiing. Six years old. And is this your first time skiing? What's the history behind it? No, because I went two years ago. You went, you, years. Went, you started three years yeah, ago. Yeah, started skiing three years ago and second time out this year. Yeah. And then you and I, Mike, we've worked uh, down here years ago. I was 78 to 92 and you were... 99 to 2004 and I'm back again. And you're back again? <laughs> and did you, did you work down here at all? I worked down here one summer. One summer? When there was still a golf course, yeah. Oh, well there you go. Yeah. And how are you, in, like the weather's fantastic. It's beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. It's, they've done such a wonderful job out yeah. here. They have, they have. And you know what, I was just talking to Abe and I think the thing that blows me away the most is that they picked this place up in November and they're able to get to where they are now. Oh, they is done. everything perfect? No, no. but considering it's where amazing. They came from, yeah. it's amazing. We were still doing fire inspections in the place two days before it opened. Like, you know, just yeah. just pushing that hard. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and they've been getting good crowds and and uh, Busy, yeah. Yeah. enjoying it. So yeah. yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, nice change. Anyways, we'd like to congratulate Abe and the team. Absolutely, the good work and great job. Yeah. So right now, I'm with Jason Bamford, and Jason, I worked with your dad for uh, Lyle for years and years and years, but you, right. did you work down here too as a youngster? No, I was sort of, uh, you know, the, the skier, so I saw you guys on the operational side, and, and then you were doing I got to have all the fun, so now I'm seeing sort of the other side of the operations and yeah. getting involved in the... Technicians, it, snowboard, skis, rental shop. And you've been, uh, you've been here since they opened, or have you here a little bit before? Or? Yeah, since Boxing Day on the yeah. 26th. And so it's been it's busy. Busy, busy. This is actually the first, I guess what you'd call a more moderate, mild day. Picked a good day to come traffic. down with the grandkids. But yeah, since Boxing Day, it's been heavy traffic, lots of rentals, lots of locals with, you know, season passes. Yeah. And, yeah. uh... Yeah, it's been lots of excitement for sure. Everybody's got a happy face when they're, <laughs> yeah. Um, are you gonna get a chance to do some snowboarding or skiing yourself? Or? Definitely, yep. Yeah. I'm getting back, uh, getting the itch again, right? Yeah. So my next day off for sure, I'm gonna, you know, bust out the vintage gear and <laughs> see how I do. Well, there you go. Um, what's uh, what's the most surprising thing since they've opened that you that you've seen? Um, well, not that it was a huge surprise, but I think just, you know, the uh, the new management, the working scenes, the owners, and everybody, you know, despite basically diving right into it, you know, almost what many would consider ahead of time, yeah. they they gave it all and they brought everybody together. The staff has learned very quickly if they're new. And fortunately, we have some, you know, former, lots of former employees that yeah. have brought their knowledge too. So it's been really good. Very yeah. nice. Um, no, I've, I've said that too when I was talking to Abe, like, um, I was one of the guys that said there's not a hope in hell to get it open. Picking it up in November and then knowing how much stuff had to be done, um, yeah. you know, nothing short of a miracle. And, and uh, yeah, you sure. know, we've been skiing here for, well, for three quarters of a day and, and uh, the grandkids are just loving it. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's been very much families, you know, lots of kids yeah. and big groups together and yeah, everybody's leaving with a smile on their face so right on. so so far so good and it's only going to get better as we you know yep. get into the routine of things and yep. yeah yep. and have more time to get ready for next year and yeah so yeah and then that'll be even a bigger endeavor is you know throughout the summer months when the season's off and yeah. There's lots of plans underway, so they're not, uh, I don't think management's going to rest much after the snow melts. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, thanks very much for talking to me. Yeah, for sure. Right? Wow. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for watching Curry Country Living at Holiday Mountain. And if you enjoyed that video, as always, I always appreciate a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel. My favorite is the comments. Uh, any memories that you have of Holiday Mountain? Maybe you were skiing since they've opened. Uh, uh, leave them in the comments section below. As always, take care, stay safe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Kate. Okay.